everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome um yeah sorry about last week's upload last week was a bit intense i got so consumed and carried away with making our hallway radiator stroke console stroke cover that it just didn't get done in time and I knew I wouldn't get the video out in time and I just didn't want to rush it out and all of that so thank you for letting me take that little break and I'm sorry I missed an upload but in today's video we're building all of the things um but I do have to I do have to just come on do I do I do I have to put a disclaimer? I do have to put a disclaimer out. Um, I'm definitely a DIY channel, but I'm also not a this is how to build anything channel because, listen, none of my cuts are straight. Everything is on the wonk and that's okay. I call everything rustic because I think that's my excuse because I don't like sanding. So basically what I'm saying is I'm building stuff, <laughs> but I'm not giving you a tutorial on how to. Also, I don't want the health and safety caps coming for me. Um, I don't have an extensive workshop. I don't have extensive tool selection or collection. Um, and I make what I can with what I've got. And the finish is <laughs> rustic, okay? The finish is rustic. I like rustic, okay? <laughs> so yeah, basically I had to just come on and say, Technically, they're not tutorials. They're not how-tos. It's just like, this is what I've got. I've got a bit of wood. I'm going to slap it together, a bit of glue, and we're going to make something that's functional. And this is what today's video is all about. So yeah, I've combined a few projects in this video. So we're going to look at the new console table that I built for the hall, another little, little something something that I built, and also a bit of a garden transformation because we've had such a beautiful week here weather-wise. We've been in the garden a lot, doing a lot of things. Um, I mean, is it a lot of things? Am I exaggerating? I might be exaggerating, but doing a few things. Anyway, but yeah, the house is looking rather lovely. I've been very, very spring clean mode. Um, but yeah, enjoy the video. A bit of a quick intro, because I kind of forgot to film an intro. So anyway, I'm just throwing this in here to say welcome and thank you, thank you for clicking on the video. I hope you enjoy the randomly put together furniture things. And yes, I will see you at the end. I actually started filming Easter weekend and I'm putting this in here because we actually traveled up to the Midlands where Tim is from to see the grandbabies for Easter. And it was such an amazing weekend. But also, I just wanted to let you all know that what should be a two hour journey took four because it was bank holiday weekend and the whole country and their dogs were on the road trying to escape. And I thought, hey, if I don't share that we sat in traffic for four hours, did it really happen? So I thought I'd bring you along with my pain. But once the traffic cleared, oh my goodness, guys, it was the most beautiful weekend. And it's just the most wonderful journey because I just absolutely love going to the Midlands. Even though I'm not from there, it just feels like home when we go and see Tim's daughter and the grandbabies and we just have the most beautiful time. It just makes me not want to leave. But anyway, this was part of our journey. But yay, here we are. <laughs> and yes, George will feature in this video, even though there's a few DIYs. I know how much you guys love him and how much this is practically his channel now. So he will be coming in to say hello. First job on my agenda over the last couple of weeks has been my radiator cover stroke console table. Now I could have just bought a shop bought radiator cover but that's what we had before and I just wanted something way more natural woody I drew out some designs now I was on Pinterest for so long this is what I'm kind of thinking I, I want that top shelf of course and I also want a bottom shelf to be able to put things on but whilst I'm drawing baskets I couldn't actually fit the baskets on anything here because the bottom shelf is going to be a narrow ledge it's not actually going to be able to hold much but yeah I was toying around with some ideas here and I definitely want this kind of design and that is what I decided to go for top left is what I decided to go for now like I said at the beginning this isn't a DIY channel so I'm not actually showing you how I'm cutting my wood a lot of the time because again health and safety you've got to be safe guys and whilst I am safe at all times all times I don't have workbenches so I tend to cut my things on like garden table and things like that and yeah anyway this is what we're looking like now nothing at this point is attached but I did actually decide it was too high it was too tall so I took four inches off of both sides I ran George out for a one hour walk but I wanted to show you this like 
It just felt like last week, literally last week, that the blossoms were all coming out and everything felt so pretty and beautiful and literally like a week later it's all dying. But anyway, here we are, back at the house. I've chopped four inches off of each of the legs and it's so much better now. The top of the radiator cover is so much closer to the radiator. It's around the same height as it would be from a shop bought radiator cover. And the radiators in the UK don't get that hot. I had a couple of questions about when I posted the photo. We don't get that hot. It's not hot enough to set fire to wood or objects or anything like that. But I am going to use my pocket hole jig to attach the legs to the top. Um, this is, I'm honestly obsessed with this tool. I am so obsessed. I said to you guys when I bought this, I am gonna build all of the things. And honestly, I'm not kidding. It just allows you to build something so, so fast with just a few pocket holes. It's really the most incredible. And if you're like me and you're not a carpenter, you're not a carpenter, you don't necessarily really know what you're doing. This tool has got your back because again, not sponsored or anything. I just absolutely love it. This is what we're looking like. These are not attached at this point, but each leg has got three pocket holes drilled into it. This wood is so wonky i bought scaffolding planks from wix's they did arrive dry they felt very very dry but i did leave them flat on my floor for two whole weeks before actually cutting them up and using them um they weren't wet in any way but oh my goodness me are they warped they are so warped but here i am just drilling my legs into the top of my console table and that was it like job done i don't have any other tools like biscuit biscuit joinery would be great here i don't have a biscuit joiner i also don't have any dowels you could attach these with dowel joinery i don't have any of that also i was thinking i don't want to add any wood glue to this because if i decide i don't like it in the future i can simply unscrew it and use the wood for other things and it was just easier to use pocket holes the thing is at this point it was very weak very very wobbly those screws are not going to do the job alone so i did need to put that bottom shelf in if anything it needed to be there to act as a brace and additional support i just got tim to move it into place to make sure it all fit and i'm loving it guys i'm so obsessed obsessed at this point um my little mirror from the range went up and I just love it. I do feel like maybe I could have gone bigger. I could have gone bigger and more grand. Maybe even a bigger mirror. But for now, hey, <laughs> I used two scaffolding planks. So this works out at approximately 44, 45 pounds for this entire unit here. And I still have some wood left over and I have another plank, which will come into play later in the video. But this is what we're looking like. Again, the weather was stunning. So it was time to get it sanded a little bit further and then stained. And honestly, this weather, I can't get enough. I actually hate hot weather. I hate heat. I dislike summers immensely. But spring, yes please, when it's just this gorgeous 20 degrees, 20 degrees guys is where I'm happy. Anything warmer than 20 degrees, your girl, <laughs> not happy, not happy at all. Autumn, winter, my favorite seasons, followed by spring, 20 degrees, anything warmer can just jog on. Luckily, I live in the UK, so we don't get too much heat. But anyway, here I am, sanding. I sanded through the grits on this one. I did sand 80 up to 120. I think I only very, very briefly ran over it with a 220. I wasn't fussed about that. Um, oh, here we go, 180. 180 is probably the highest I went. But yeah, shout out to Brookswood Build. Um, Paul is my friend over on my other channel. I've known him for years through the woodworking community and the wood turning community as well. Um, Paul actually sent me some Abronet sanding discs ages ago. They didn't arrive in time to do my other console table, but yes, they're here now. And yeah, shout out to Paul. I just put a Facebook post up and I was like, guys, I need your help. Can I please buy some Abronet discs? I didn't want to spend all the money on all of the discs. Bless him, he sent me three. He wouldn't let me pay. Back to the garden. Okay. Thank you so, so much to you guys who recommended shaded plants, like plants that can live in the shade. This is the area of our garden that is in full shade 365 days a year, full shade. 
not at any point does it get any sun and you guys recommended me some plants now I did look into so many plants that you guys recommended and all of them do say that they do need sun at some point so like partial shade this area is not even partial shade it's full shade and whilst the plants look beautiful and I wanted to buy them a couple of them were like they must have sun at some point because if they don't see any sun any at any time they're gonna get leggy and they're gonna start searching for sun and it won't work so yeah I'm back to the drawing board but I promise you I do read your comments and I do look up the plants that you recommend um, I'm still looking for that like full-on full shade 365 days a year plant to get in there but this is what we are looking like after sanding. Now, to be honest, I didn't again talk much about it, but I used the um, Gunstock by Village Green. It's really too dark for me. It's the same shade I used on my stair banister. And again, I'm just gonna sand it back until I'm happy with that rustic, almost rustic industrial. I've just salvaged this plank of wood from an old rusty barn kind of look. Um, I don't like polished, polished wood. I like rustic i like it to look beaten i like it to look like we've just found this wood in an abandoned garage at the back of someone's random abandoned garage that's the look i go for but <laughs> no this is what it's looking like guys i'm so obsessed like i'm so obsessed i cannot tell you it is exactly what i wanted this is the final look so this is how i've left it everything on here is staying on here it takes a while for me to kind of get that styling styling my home has never really been a thing i've always not liked a few nice bits but now we are styling i'm in my styling era um i've got a couple of prints here from decenio which i've had for the longest time um the pot i made you would have seen that on my other channel again this black pot over here i made this again on my other channel using the black eco you would have seen that recently and i made it specifically for this table and the candle tea light holder i made that as well i love this let the ocean worry about being blue that is also from decenio yonks ago like ages ago three four years ago i bought them the mirror is from the range love 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 and i think the tree is from the range but guys what a difference it makes and it matches the new banister in the hallway and i'm so so happy and this is what it looks like on a gorgeous sunny morning i love 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 it let me know your thoughts again i didn't take you through the cuts the sizes the lengths all of that because you guys can just you know do your own measurements george also went for a groom last week his first groom in ages george does have an instagram and i will put it here if you want to go follow george's journey he hates water he hates the groomers he didn't talk to me for a while but he loves being home and all of that fluffy fluffy has gone and he is looking crisp and beautiful this was me like george come on i'm trying to show everyone your fresh cut come on come on but he was zonked and he just wouldn't turn his head for the camera but uh, this is me nudging him he does love cuddles i am so lucky with george you know i wanted a dog that would allow me to smother him <laughs> with love and cuddles and george is that dog okay this was a few days later now note this garden look at the railway sleepers look at the railway sleepers i've slowed this right down for you guys the garden was rotten the railway sleepers had pretty much lost all of their black stain they were stained three years ago four years ago and all of that stain has pretty much worn out now so this is me just coming into my shed which was pretty clean actually a week ago but it's gone now i've got one and a bit planks left and i decided i'm gonna make myself a side table for my sofa area where i sit on my sofa i'm gonna make a side table but because i've only got one plank left i knew i had to take the metal ends off now don't come for me don't come for me please but when i made the radiator console in the hallway i just chopped these ends off and i know that's kind of irresponsible and a waste but at the time I only needed what I needed and I didn't need the ends and plus I didn't want my console table to be scruffy like the if you take these metal ends off it leaves the wood with all of these gaping ugly unsightly holes I didn't have the energy and I didn't have it in me to 
sort it out, fill them, make it look nice. Honestly, I just chopped them off. I chopped them off, metal still intact. However, I've only got one plank left. <laughs> so I need to get these off. These are deadly. Like I get why they do it, obviously to save the ends of the wood and to save the wood from splitting all the way up. But the wood is still split. Like this wood is so split from Wix's. Again, they're scaffolding planks. They're not meant for top designer interior decor. Do you know what I mean? They're designed for a building site. But yeah, quite easy to get off actually. A lot easier than I originally thought. So I really should have just spent the time taking them off. Then I measured the plank and this is what it was measuring at. And it was just over, come on Claire, look, look, look. Yeah. Just nearly, nearly 200, well, 240 and a half centimetres long. So I needed three pieces. I simply cut it in three. Um, one was slightly longer than the other two. I mean, I can't do it, guys. I just can't get it right. And that's okay. Now, I am showing you my cuts here because, quite frankly, I'm balancing the plank between two garden chairs. It's the best I can do. And that is... <laughs> That is how I did it. And it came out okay. And honestly, this is probably one of the easiest projects. Literally one scaffold plank, cut in three to your best ability, sand them all down, stick them all together, and you've got yourself a coffee table. Now, listen, I decided to not use my pocket holes on these. I just didn't know if it would really be effective. And again, you could use a biscuit joiner or you could use dowels or screw them together. Any way you want to get them together, get them together. I'm getting them together with a ton of glue. Like <laughs> I've got a ton of Gorilla wood glue and I realized my clamps aren't big enough. Morning. Um, it is time to get this table sanded. It's a job I hate. Um, now, you guys know I don't have the proper tools, the proper equipment. I do have a sander. I don't have... Oh my God, it's beautiful. Hold on. It's such a beautiful day. Um, so I'm going to bring the table out. I'll show you what I've done. <clears throat> this is how... <laughs> George, I know, honey. I know. I know. This is how it's been left overnight. Um, I actually have only glued them together. They're just not... I don't have any of the things. I don't have a biscuit joiner. I don't have any dowels. And it's going to be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, but it's pretty solid. Um, they have all stuck. They've all glued nicely. But it is it is so wonky. <laughs> it's so wonky. Um, wonkiest thing I've ever made. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to take it out in the garden now because it is beautiful out here. And I'm going to do some sanding. That's the time. It's quite late in the day. It's like five to one. Anyway, um, oh, actually, just so you see the clock in the right orientation and not in the back camera, it is actually five to one. Um, so yeah, let's get this outside and get the sand on it. It was so hot this day. And again, 22 degrees down south on this day. And this was a crazy one because the north of the UK was experiencing this huge storm. I think it was called Kathleen. I can't remember. But they were in for like severe gales, like 70 to 80 mile an hour gusts. And down south, we were literally basking in sunshine and heat all right we did have a bit of wind but it wasn't it wasn't anything too crazy but it's so crazy how a tiny island can be so weather divided honestly and truly but i guess scotland is near the north pole aren't you guys so <laughs> but yeah this was me stripping off because i just couldn't cope with the heat at all um but yeah sanded this baby and i'll be honest i didn't I didn't spend too long sanding this down. It was just so wonky, so skew whiffy. I, I wanted a practical, functional coffee table that was good enough for me. Good enough for me. This would not be good enough to sell. <laughs> so it's good enough for me. Um, guys, oh my gosh, the excitement was real. Um, you guys remember in the last video or the video before, I said that we hired someone. It cost us £80 for somebody to come, jet wash our entire patio, and what a difference. It was actually shocking how disgusting our patio was. Well, when he got here, he had the most basic kercher jet washer. 
pressure washer. And I was like, oh, what brand is it? Uh, not what brand is it, like what kind of price point is it? And he was like, this is literally the cheapest one, 150 quid. Did I buy one? I absolutely did buy one. And it just arrived and oh my gosh, it's our favorite thing, favorite thing. But I will tell you something else. <laughs> It destroyed our woodwork even more. Like, you know, the sleepers I said were getting really bad. <laughs> they were so bad. So I ended up going out and painting the entire bundle of railway sleepers that we've got. I still had some of the black stain. This is just Ron Seal black stain. Oh my goodness me. What a difference. Tim actually jet washed. He didn't really need to, but you see, George is like weeing up all the furniture and it leaves all of the stains on the patio so tim just went over the patio jet washed the whole patio and then he came up the back here and jet washed all of the oh my gosh guys what a difference like what a machine and in the process of doing that he took even more stain off of the railway sleepers and literally left lines and squiggles and patterns in the railway sleepers so i went out here literally 6 p.m in the evening and started restaining all of the railway sleepers and I am obsessed. It looks, I mean, apart from the, the, the weeds and the grass coming up through the slabs, but sh we, anyway, look, we'll overlook that. We'll, okay, we're looking at the sleepers. <laughs> we are gonna leave the table on the grass for a few days. Now, it really lives on the patio, but again, George won't wee on the patio if there's nothing to wee up. He literally won't. So he'll go on to the grass to wee. And I, honestly, I think we're just trying to get him out of it. So we're actually going to leave all of the patio furniture on the grass for a couple days. We are expecting major storms now down south for a few days. Heavy rain, etc, etc. And yeah, we're going to hope that George unlearns. I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt it. But... He loves the sun, guys. He loves, loves, loves basking in the sun. And honestly, sometimes he's so clingy. And yet other times I'm like, where is he? And I find him just out on the patio, just standing there. He won't lay down. He's not like other dogs. He won't sit or lay down. But he'll just stand there with his head up, with his eyes closed, letting that sun just soak into everything. And he absolutely loves it. Other times, he, he won't leave my side. He's such a funny little boy. But yeah, this is what we're looking like. The garden is looking amazing. I've done all the weeding. Honestly, I'm, I don't know what's happened to me. I'm turning into a right little gardener. Anyway, back to the table. I do have to shout some people out. Oh, I got some Amazon legs. See, well, my voiceover is a bit all over the place, but that's okay. It's fine. It's, it's all all right. We'll allow it. Um, The Amazon table legs. I had two choices. I could either put them on the actual planks, but that would make the middle plank weak because anything I put on the table is going to be pushing down and then the middle plank is weak at that point. So I'm going to put them on the bracing, on the brackets. So these two chunks of wood that I've just glued across, I'm going to put the legs on those because then that's going to support the entire structure of the top of the table. Now, the legs are from Amazon. They are coffee table hairpin legs. Again, they came with these little rubber feet, but I hate them. I absolutely hate them. So it's just going to go on the floor as it is. It's not like I'm moving it around a lot. But yeah, this is the corner where it's going to go. Again, that's why I'm allowing it to look as shoddy as it looks because no one's going to see it. <laughs> At the moment, I've got this kind of really high coffee table that I got yonks ago from Ikea. I actually made this over on my old, my other, my old channel. My other channel back in the olden days, like six years ago when I first got my channel, I did a little DIY on the table. I hate it. It's the same level as my armrest on the sofa. And honestly, quite honestly, it's hurting my arms. Like, it's just a weird angle. I wanted something a lot lower, just like this, that I could actually reach down grab my cup of tea. I know it sounds crazy, but you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> anyway, this is the only varnish I have left. I've run out of gun stock. I found this up in my craft room. This was the walnut interior varnish from Ron Seal that I was using for everything, everything years ago. And it's all I've got left. So I figured, hey, might as well use it. Why not? And then I was like, wait, I love this color. Like I love, 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 love. Is 
is the walnut what I was looking for this whole time. Do you remember a few videos back I was talking about stains and how difficult it is to find stains and I think it's the walnut guys, it's the walnut. Anyway, this went on a dream, but back to my shout outs. I must get this out before I get distracted again. I have to shout out because A, like I've said to you guys, this is definitely not a tutorial uh, a channel. Um, even with my circular saw, you know, I can't cut straight lines. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Nothing's happening right. So if you want to build stuff using straight lines and all of the correct tools, I've just recently found a channel called DIY Tiff. Like her name is Tiff. She's incredible. She's just built out her entire bath, um, not bathroom, like pantry. We would call it a utility room, but I think they call it a laundry room i think in america um i think she's in florida don't quote me on it diy tiff oh my god and funny her girlfriend um is called tony and her girlfriend does her editing so oh my god seriously seriously entertaining videos really entertaining but she does things properly is basically what i'm saying is if you want to learn how to do things properly she's a girl she's a girl um she cuts straight lines she uses proper tools and actually measures stuff and then sands properly and stains properly and does all of the things properly <laughs> it's basically where i'm going with that the other channel of course is my friend vicky over at the carpenter's daughter i've known vicky for years years and she's just hit 100k as well which is unreal so vicky at the car the carpenter's daughter she makes she does it all 50,000 times more things than I do um and they've just bought land acreage she's doing all of the whole you know self-sufficiency now growing growing her own crops and vegetables and all of that jazz I'm also a patreon patreon I'm a patron on her patreon so yeah go check out Vicky the carpenter's daughter here on YouTube if you want to do things properly and you want to learn how to do things properly because I'm not your girl but if you want chaos I'm here for it you're here for it we can all be chaotic together it's all good but this is what the table's looking like this stain is actually beautiful it goes on so easy this is my little corner this is the table I used to have didn't like it it was too tall it was just same level as the arms on the sofas and this is my new little coffee table I say little it's not that little at all I love it I love it it is the perfect height for whoever sits on both of these chairs they can now access have a little cup of tea and actually yeah there's a lot of space here but I'm gonna keep it as close to the sofas as possible because yeah the more surface I have the more I fill it with junk so now I've just got a much wider surface to put all my crap on yay here it is I just threw a little basket on there I do intend on getting a little lamp for here I want either like an industrial three-legged tripod lamp or maybe even a rattan I think a rattan lamp would be good but here's me sitting down this is just me I'm not honestly I'm not trying to over explain but it's so much lower to grab you know like to grab grab me a cup of tea it's so much lower and more comfortable than something that's the same height as your arm I just can't explain it is it just me or do you guys prefer a lower side table but yeah, it was weird grabbing it up there. I was grabbing it down here now. But yeah, I'm done. I love it. I'm obsessed. I absolutely love it. And yeah, shout out also to Moray over at Lothian Woodworks for my coasters. These are gorgeous black slate coasters with my little Hello Pumpkin on them. I love it. I hope you do too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.